Hi guys, this is Tammy, and I've got Tori today. Today is Shara's, Shara's, I always say her name wrong, I'm sorry Shara. Um, today is her We Wear Pink on Wednesday, and Shara is over at Reborn Living Dolls. I believe that's right. I hope that's right. I will definitely put it in the um, description. I'm hoping that this tripod will work because I'm in my room. Um, first off, I have a little haul. Kate Quinn had a sale and I am hooked on this. I got coconut. These are newborn. Well, this is three to six, I think. No? These are both newborn, but I did get three to six, too. So these are both newborn, but this one looks a lot bigger. I just noticed that. I guess, I guess they're a set. So anyway, I got the booties because you guys know I love the booties. And I got this little bubble, um, like a onesie. It's got a Peter Pan collar and short sleeves. It snaps down the back. And it's like the, um, I believe it's like the Pontel, I think that's what they call it. I love this material. I'm trying to get it over here so you can see it. It's more cotton, it's not the, um, the silky. I like this better. And I got it in three, three to six. This is a little crossover long sleeved onesie and it's also in three to six. It's all coconut and it's all the same material. I just love it. And I got the Panda Pants in three to six. They've got like deep cuffs on the bottom and of course elastic waists. And then I got zero to three in the same crossover onesie and these do have the mitts on the long sleeves. And I got zero to three in the panda pants. So I was kind of hoping the zero to three might fit. They might be a little bit big, but they might fit my Tori and my Lauren. And I think they might actually fit uh, Maggie. So that was my Kate Quinn haul. And today, we are going to change her out of her little Peter Rabbit. And these were the cute little booties that she had on. And we are going to put her in a new outfit that we just got from Vicki over at So Loved. You guys know, I don't, for me particularly, like the... Um, floppy heads. I like my heads up better, so that's what we're doing with this. And I'm having trouble, as you can see. Hmm. Should have took it up over her head because her little arm curls. There we go. We got it. I hope you guys are having a good day today. It is going to be hot. We are back to the kind of critical um, temperature heat index again. This is a sweet little um, nursery time newborn pink short sleeved like t-shirt. It flares a little bit at the bottom, and it's actually got a very pretty little edging on it, if you can see that. And then um, it snaps in the back, and the short sleeves has got the same edging um, as the hemline does. This we will put over her head, just because it's easier. I am not good at dressing the babies on the videos as you guys know but I know once in a while you enjoy to see that so 
Sometimes I will dress them on camera and sometimes I won't. I thought we would also do our devotional today. And, well, I'm going to have to do this. I just, I don't personally like dressing babies on camera. I'll just put that out there right now. I just don't like doing it. Okay. Because I'm not good at it. My tripod isn't really set up to do it, and it just is what it is. So I guess you guys have put up with me this long, right? I don't know. The heat, I may not do a walk today. When it gets this hot, I just kind of stay in the air conditioning. This is such a cute little outfit. I love it. Mandy, I know you're cracking up with her flopping around like this, but ugh. she doesn't really know it. <laughs> oh. When I get her dress here, I'll show you what this little jumper is, because it is so cute. I love this outfit. I don't know if I told you or not, but it was from Vicki. It's so loved. And we just got it, I think it was last week. And I was anxious to put it on her. This is so cute. It's got a pink bird up at the top with a pink bow. Um, it's a cream background. It's got pink and dark pink flowers and little ladybugs. And there's actually a little hen and a lavender bird and pink birds and it is just so cute. I love this. It's very, very springy and summery. And actually, these will match. So I thought I would put these on her. These are my favorite booties. I love these things. I've got several now and I don't have um, clothes from Kate Quinn for all of them that match, but that's okay. I wait until the sales for Kate Quinn. I, I don't buy full price. And by the time I buy, the selection is not that good. But when I saw this coconut, I just went crazy. I just love it. I really, really, really do. I don't have any tags or anything today. And actually, I probably need a, a pink hair bow for her because white isn't really going to go that well with this outfit. And it's just right over here in my closet, so I may go get her a pink bow. There we go. These little cuffs are elastic ruffles, so it makes it really cute. I am going to go get her a pink bow. Well, this is my hair bows. I keep all these from Amazon on one side, all my other ones on the other, and then these are the little pom-pom barrettes that I got for Maggie. And that's two beige. And I've got, here's a pink one down here. There we go, I want this one. We will put this one on her. There we go. How's that, guys? She look okay? Tori, can you say hi to everybody? Okay, guys. Um, we will do our devotional for the day. And then you will be glad to get rid of me, I bet. <coughs> oh, I'm going to sit back on the bed. So hopefully the tripod stays up here. I've got it on one of my boxes. Okay, today is June 29th, and the chapters are Psalm 
five three, Psalm sixty three one, and Philippians four thirteen. As you get out of bed in the morning, be aware of my presence with you. You may not be thinking clearly yet, but I am. Your early morning thoughts tend to be anxious ones until you get connected with me. Invite me into your thoughts by whispering my name. Suddenly, your day brightens and feels more user-friendly. You cannot dread a day that is vibrant with my presence. You gain confidence through knowing that I am with you, that you face nothing alone. Anxiety stems from asking the wrong question. If such and such happens, can I handle it? The true question is not whether you can cope with whatever happens, but whether you and I together can handle anything that occurs. It is this you and I together factor that gives you confidence to face the day cheerfully. So that is our devotional for June 29th. Can you guys believe July 1st is here? I tell you what, time goes so fast. It truly does. But um, thank you all for putting up with my video again today. Sorry, I'm just not that good at dressing the babies on camera. <laughs> it is what it is. It's one of my... There was a little lady at the nursing facility. Mom and her got to be such good buddies. Um, when Mom first went there, when she broke her hip and she went for rehab, um, Susie's husband come in. He had a major stroke on the golf course. And we just all got to be friends. Um, I was there a lot, and Susie was there a lot. She ended up, they put her in assisted, with, well, no, she was in an independent apartment for a little while in the building just so she could run over and visit him whenever she wanted to. And anyway, her and Mom got to be such good friends, and I just fell in love with Susie. She was such a sweet lady. She passed away in November of 2018, and um, her husband passed away there during the time that he was, you know, they were trying to get him to recover from the stroke, and he just never did. And she had a hard time. She, they were in their 90s, and she was ready to go. She wanted to be with him. But anyway, um, it was her daughter that gave Mom this book that I love, the devotional book. Um, but long story short, I loved Susie, and she would always say, it is what it is, and I got in that habit. I said that a lot. I don't say it that much anymore, but I caught myself on the videos a few times. I've said it. So anyway, that was a long story. But um, you all have a wonderful day, and um, I don't even know what Theme Thirsty is this week. I didn't see it. Um, I know Yvonne was at the doll show, so if anybody knows what the theme is, if there's one this week, please let me know. Just drop it in the comments. We will see you later. Bye, guys.